2 Corinthians chapter number 13, verse number 5. I thank God for co-pastor, amen. amen. And I thank God for her, amen. Are y'all there? Yeah. Look what the text say here. Examine yourself. Can we say that again? Examine, put some emphasis on yourself. Whether you be in the faith. Prove your own self. Mm -hmm. I don't have time to stay with that, but if I did, I'd tell you, stop trying to prove the folks. And prove yourself. No, you're not your own self. How Jesus Christ is in you, except ye be reprobate. Go to James 1. And begin reading, amen, verse number 2. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptation. Knowing this, this is what you need to know. That the trying of your faith work it patient. But let patient have her perfect work. That you may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Now, uh, first Peter four, and we be through, okay? First Peter chapter number four, verse number twelve. Thank you, Lord. Beloved, talking to us, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you, as though some strange thing has happened unto you. But rejoice inasmuch as ye are partakers of Christ's suffering, uh, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with a season of joy. Your faith, Your faith is on trial. Yes. Tell your other neighbor, say, neighbor, neighbor. My, faith my faith is on trial. Yes. Take your seat. Take your seat. Yeah, my faith is on trial. I got news for you, baby. I got news for you. I, 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 I believe the jury is out yes. and the verdict is in. Mm -hmm. My faith. Oh, I feel that. Thing. My faith. Is on trial, on trial, on trial, huh, uh huh. And it, it, you know, you deal with this thing called trial. Everybody know your business when you got to go to trial. Look at somebody say, "You can't hold it back. You can't hold it back." It's public information. No matter different how, why you went there, killed somebody, stole somebody, or did what. Everybody gonna know your business when you go to trial. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Don't, don't care what's going on when you got caught or whatever. Everybody gonna know your business when you when you go to trial. Look like some of y'all ain't never been there, so I'm not preaching y'all. But my faith is on display. Mm -hmm. Tell somebody, my everybody about to know my faith. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I know everybody about to know your business, but faith is my business. Mm -hmm. I see what kind of crowd I got here. But my faith is on trial. But, but, but to my advantage, Brother Rico, God is the judge. Mm -hmm. And I'm so glad that I got a just judge. I'm so glad that my business is coming before a righteous judge. Tell somebody, it all depends on the judge that you got, baby, because you could have a judge according to the scripture that didn't regard God or fear man could be sitting on the bench. But we got the, the, the God of all God. The Lord is judging my faith. Mm -hmm. I don't care what nobody say. I know I'm be free to try. I'm going to be treated fairly. Even though I made some mistakes and it may be my fault, I still know I'm going to be treated fairly. Mm, that, that, that's something to know, something to know. When you done messed up some things and, and you done caused some self-habit to come to yourself and you did stuff out of ignorance and you did stuff not knowing, but yet you're going to have to stand before a just God. And he's going to be fair. He's going to have compassion. He's going to have a heart for you. And he's going to understand. He's going to know my down sitting. He's going to know my uprising. He know every hair or a strain on my head. It's just good to know I'm going to have to stand before just God. Take your seat. And, and my faith is on trial. Now they said, George, that he sit high and that he watches low. Mm-hmm. And the Bible say in Jane that every man's faith is going to be tried as a by fire. Mm -hmm. And James said that 
God tempts not no man. And every man is drawn away by his own lust and an enticement. And when lust is conceived, it giveth birth unto sin. And when sin is full grown or finished, it brings forth death. And it don't want to talk about that, that he's no respectable person. He's no Indian giver. And every good and perfect gift come from above from the Father light. And there's no shadow, there's no variation, or there's no turning in him. So I'm going to stand before a good God and my faith is on display. And, and what God is judging about my faith is, is judging how I handle the situation that I'm in. How do I handle my faith when I'm going through trials? And how did I handle my faith when I'm going Going through chaos and when I'm going through the battle, God is looking at me and He's looking in particular about my fate and how I handle my business and how I have my situation. And God is sitting high and watching me that when I go through trials and I, I go through situations, look at somebody, have far somebody, and tell them there's a mindset that you got to have when you go through these things. That's why He told me to examine myself to see whether or not I be in the faith. I got to examine my Myself. I, can't, I can't examine you and watch you. Look at somebody and tell I'm too busy watching me. I'm too busy examining me because I got to see whether or not I be in the faith when I go through this stuff. God want to know how do I handle my faith when I go through the trial. So tell somebody my faith is on trial here. Take your seat because I'm about to. I got somewhere else to go. Uh, and so so, Sister Kane, my faith is on trial. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And to my advantage, I said that the judge that I have, the, the, they're uh, uh, attending to my case. They, they gave my case to Jesus. Mm -hmm. And I'm excited about that because Judge Jesus, Judge the Lord is on my case. And I, I need a little favor here now. And I, and I need something to work out for my good here. Because, because you, know, you, know, you know, I haven't done everything right. And, and haven't done everything like I should have. And I'm going to let you in on a little secret I didn't even sin. And, but you know, the Bible says all have fallen in sin and come short of the glory of God. So, so coming before God and knowing that you haven't done everything right, he's going to have some compassion to you. He's going to know, amen, the areas that I need strength in and, and the areas I need him to bring me down that I don't exalt myself before I go to his case. It's good to know that the judge knows something about you when you go before the judge. I can tell that some of y'all ain't never went before a judge, but it's just good to know that this judge know a little something about me and he's going to know it's going to work out for my good. So my faith is on trial, and what God is trying to distinguish between me, how do I handle myself when I go through? He want to know, do I carry it all joy when I fall through diverse temptation and knowing that the trying of my faith? So I must be at the wrong church. Take your, take your seat here. I must be at the wrong church. Mm, take your seat here. Take your seat. Take your seat. My faith. It's on trial here. Mm -hmm. And what's been determined, Gwen, is it's, it's, it's not about how good I've been. Mm -hmm. It's not about how bad I've been. It's, it's not about how unfaithful I've been or what I've been doing. It's all about, Carla, my faith. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. And God wants me to know that when things come my way uh, and when adversity comes my way, uh, how do I handle myself? Uh, and God wants to know, uh, and I'm using this precious virtue that he has given me because the Bible says all men has been dealt a measurement of faith. Uh, and God wants to know that if I'm going to get an increase in this thing called faith, uh, I got to handle what I got. Uh, and I, I'm trying to handle what I got rightly and when I go through things and call it when things come up against me that's a way to handle my business oh my god I can handle it in the flesh I can handle it in the spirit and God want to know how I'm going to because the Bible said there's a crown of righteous waiting for me after my faith has been tried and as my faith has been tried I think about my brothers and I think about my sisters that's going through what I'm going through and he tells 
tell me to count it in our strings. Hallelujah. When you fall in diverse temptation, I'll think about the other brothers that's going through what you're going through. And now God is saying, now Perry, I see this is come upon you. And this is about to come upon you. And you handle that well. And to much is given, much is required. And my faith is being tried. And God is determined how I handle my business. And the Bible lets me know that I got the kind of joy. Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor that when you go through what you're going through, if you plan on coming out, you got to get the right mindset. Because I come to tell you, baby, that what you go through can take you out. What you go through can take you down. What you go through can destroy you. It's just the way you handle your business when you're going through. Go and tell three folks we all going through. It's just the way you handle it when you go through. In, huh? And they go come, huh? and here go they got to bring the verdict huh? to the judge. Huh? You know he asked for uh, the chairman of the board. Uh, 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 hallelujah! You got to ask for whoever's over uh, over the uh, you know the place the jury the jury uh, 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 chairman. Huh? Uh, uh, do you have the verdict? Huh? And you know when they stand up with a piece of paper, huh? and you know how they look at you, huh? and you look at the jury, and you say, man, ain't nobody smiling. Huh? Ain't no look like ain't nobody happy for me over there. Huh? And they said, chairman of the jury, huh? do you have the verdict? Huh? And that's before they bring the verdict, huh? I begin to look at God, huh? and I said, God, you know how it is, huh? When I when I went through this, I handled my business, huh? I counted all joy, huh? Even though hell broke out, huh? I counted joy, huh? I lost this, huh? But I counted joy, huh? Hallelujah, huh? And they asked the chairman, huh, of the jury, huh? What is the verdict, huh? And they begin to, huh, 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 Amen. Announce the verdict, huh? But I, I I hear God, huh? I hear the Holy Ghost, huh? So before you announce the verdict, huh? I, 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 I want to plead this case. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? And they begin to read. Huh? They begin to read the verdict. Huh? And all they're saying is guilty. Huh? Guilty of this. Huh? And guilty of that. Huh? And guilty huh? in the first degree. Huh? And guilty huh? in the second degree. Huh? And guilty huh? for three counts. Huh? And guilty huh? for 15 counts. Huh? And guilty of this. Huh? And guilty of that. Huh? And so, Mr. Chairman, huh? what is the verdict? Diverted huh, is that he guilty. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? And I, I hear huh, a voice from the throne, huh, room of God. Huh? The Bible says huh, that I was yet in sin, huh, that Christ died for me, huh, and that God so loved me, huh, that he gave huh, his only begotten son. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? And the Bible declares huh, that he looked beyond my faults huh, and saw my need. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? And here come the judge. Huh, is going to speak on my behalf. Huh? And I hear the judge saying, huh? Mr. Chairman, huh? Mr. Chairman, huh? hallelujah, huh? of the jury, huh? I see where you huh? say he's guilty huh? in the first degree. Huh? He's guilty huh? in the second degree. Huh? That he's guilty huh? for three counts. Huh? He's guilty huh? for four counts. Huh? And that's all right. Huh? But Mr. Chairman huh? of the jury, huh? I want you to know huh, that I'm the judge huh, of the courtroom huh, and this is my courtroom huh, and I want you to know huh, that when he, what you got him guilty for huh, I see him being washed huh, in the blood huh, and I want to override huh, 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 your verdict huh, he's not guilty huh, he's innocent huh, He's been washed in the blood. He carried all joy when he went through the hours of temptation. I said, God, why, why, why so much just for patience? And the scripture said, Carla, it's with patience that one possess his soul. It's with patience. Let's come on, Sam. I'll give you one too. 
You call it patient, but he called it long suffering. <laughs> mm. Because see, because see, see, you got to understand. And I'm, I'm about to close, George, here. You, you got to understand that everything that lives has an expiration date. There's things you buy on the shelf that has an expiration date. Mm -hmm. Simply mean it's good up to that date. And after that date, you throw it away because it's, 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 it's not edible. It's, it's not only no, no, no good. So, you know, I, I just believe that the enemy has a expiration day. Mm -hmm. What are you saying, preacher? I'm getting ready to close. Uh, but what I, what, I, what I want to say is I believe whatever comes your way, it has an expiration day. Uh, look at your name and tell your name. Uh, that it's not going to last. Trouble's not going to last always. Uh, uh, tell somebody this too shall pass. And, and I just believe whatever comes your way, it has a time. I believe when the enemy uh, uh, send errors your way and when the enemy send devices and attacks your way, I just believe it's given a timeline to accomplish what they accomplish. Uh, the victory that you have is long-suffering. Uh, the victory that you have to have patience until it complete uh, reaches expiration date. I ain't getting no help up in here, baby. To tell somebody, it, sometimes, that's why the Bible said, the battle is not yours, it's the Lord to hold your peace. Because if you can just hold your peace until it passes. Let me close. I ain't getting no help up in here, today. Why is it so important to have patience and to be long-suffering? Well, the battle is not mine. I'm going to have victory. And what's so exciting about it, I'm going to win. I hear somebody here talking. What, what y'all say? We're we, we going to win and not even throw a punch, baby. I mean, we're we, we going to win, Carla, if you can just hold out. Uh, cut it out, John. When you fall through diverse temptation and know that the trial of your faith work in patience, go and tell three folks to let patience work. Next time you go through, step aside and step back. Next time you go through, take a praise break. 